All right, this is what things are looking like right now. I'm gonna post a picture on the screen right now of what it used to look like. Literally, it was just a couch. So it was an orange couch going one way and then the other like an L shape. And that's all that was in here. Now we have all our books, CDs, DVDs, more DVDs, more books. This is more like my TBR. And these are like books that we've read mostly and then more TBR down here. So we have our random stereo right in the corner and I, I don't know, I kind of want to change things up, move them around, make it more functional. And then over here you see all the plants. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to move some stuff around. Of course the tree has to go down and I think I'm going to put my alocasia back in the corner or maybe my monstera. I'll have to try to find a new way to display the plants and also maybe bring some plants down. Anyways, move stuff around basically. So. And then we have just a coffee table. And then this is the couch that I use to snuggle up and read. And then I have a plant right in the corner there. <laughs> Some plants on top of this shelf as well. So yeah, we have quite a bit of room to work with. So if I just back up a bit, here's my doggy dog. Uh, so this is the room. And yeah, so we'll see, we'll see what we can do. But first we obviously have to take down all the Christmas decor. All right, so fast forward emptying the shelves. This is what over 200 books looks like on a dining room table. And I don't know, I want to have a system for when I put them back on the shelf. So I, I didn't really know what to do besides labeling the books in certain piles. So for example, these books are read, but it's a mix of books that we've read because these were the ones that were at the top um, and that we were just like looking at the pages, not the covers. And then this is read books from my husband, read books from me, but I bought on Marketplace, read books that I've read that were thrifted because I'm gonna do videos of like all the books that I bought and purchased. And obviously I've been purchasing from different places. Now, when it comes to like certain authors, so for example, James Patterson has a series with Bennett, has a series with Cross, and has a series with Private. Um, so it's just a little different for that guy. But yeah, so then over here I have my TBR and where I bought the books. So Marketplace, TBR, Indigo, Dollar Store. These were passed down to us. This was from... These are from like a free library. Anyway, so I have a video on that. Either I already have posted it or I'm going to post it. So that way I can actually show you in those videos. And over here is just like all the Amazon stuff, which again is a separate video as well. But anyways, this is what the room looks like. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like books provide such a homey, cozy vibe to a room. Like this looks very bland and stale <laughs> so i am really excited and i'm so glad that i get to document it because i get to see the before and after so i am super stoked to see how it turns out um, my husband's on a walk with my dog but um we'll have to start installing these i will probably just move these to the other room because they're not that heavy the couch i'll probably just move to behind me i mean we don't really need to take it out we just need this space over here so anyways this is the update the plants i've moved just over here the lights are already on which means it's already past five o'clock and then right now i don't know if i show this but this is where the record player is with the speakers and this is going to go on the piece of furniture that's going to go right under the shelves so i'm really excited to use this in that little space and i don't know i just gonna i think it's gonna look way better I don't like how this table is so close to the ground and it just makes me nervous. So I think that's gonna turn out super nice and then it's just gonna look great underneath all the books. So anyways, that is an update. Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Mel with one S, being Call Me Mel. And this is actually future me because when I first started recording for this video, I wasn't sure if I wanted to share the installment piece of the shelves. I thought I was just gonna do the organizing and decorating, but I'm like, you know what, why not? Why not share with you how I put it together, what parts I used, and you know, just a little bit of information just in case you need a little bit of help and you decide to do the same setup. So I am gonna show you some of that, and that was yesterday. But first, let me show you how we put together the shelves. 
So first I had to decide what system I was going to use, what hardware I was going to use. And I decided to go with the track system because I really wanted to maximize and optimize the space on the wall. So I ended up choosing the 70 inch white twin track and I bought three of them because you'll see in a little bit, just based on the size of the wood, we had to get three. And then with the track system, I bought the nine inch brackets because a hard copy or hard cover of a book is about seven inches. So with a little bit of more space, I was able to make sure that all books would fit on these shelves. Okay, so we have decided to go with real wood. So I have the knotted pine here. They're $21 each, but honestly, it's not that bad. So it's $21 for, for eight feet. And that's the whole wall. And I mean, like, if you really think about it, one Ikea shelf is like $100 and it's not even real wood. So this, I still get the natural wood color and I get the smell, which is going to be so good. Um, so yeah, so we found one that's, like, that's 10 inches, but for some reason when I measured it, it's not <laughs> 10 inches. So um, it never is. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna go with this because I love wood and makes it look more natural And I know they're like obviously the wood's not gonna be perfect, but it just gives it a bit of character and You could definitely look around see if there's different styles that you want They do have the finished one that's white, but again, it's not real wood So we're gonna take home four pieces for four of the shelves that are gonna go on this and then we'll go from there But yeah, I'm excited Alright, so I just gave you some b-roll of me putting this together. So that looks great, all good. And I did record a video separately for people that just want to learn how to put this together. But just for this video, I'm just showing you what we're doing next. So we quickly found the studs. So that's going to be our first, or if you want to do this as your first step. So just putting a piece of painter's tape on the wall and then marking each stud. We're probably going to use every other stud right now because I do have three of the rods to put on the wall. So the far one, the middle one, and then the last one would be the ones that we're using. So that's the first step that we did. Now we're just going to drill in the holes. Okay, we have installed all three rods, like the wall anchors. I don't even know what to call them. And now we're going to add the, the hooks or the brackets on, and then we're gonna put the shelves on before we secure the wood because you do have to pre-hold the wood in order for it to stay. So that's what it's looking like so far. You just have to level them as you go just to make sure that they're straight. So just have the leveler beside each piece. So this is what we have so far. All right, the shelves are up. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. Now the fun part, which is decorating. So I'm super, super happy with how it turned out. I even have space in between the shelves and this mirror. Hi, it's me. <laughs> so I didn't have to take down the mirror. When we were installing this, we didn't take it into consideration the outlet. So there's space for the outlet, no worries there. And yeah, like I've just started to put some books here. So I'm just trying to decide how far apart I want the shelf. I think I can add one more shelf. So I want like a smaller shelf all for the mass produced books and then like a shelf for hardbacks or displayed books. So that's gonna be theirs. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. I'm so, so, so happy and hungry. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I'm gonna add one more shelf. Uh, I'll need to grab one more piece of wood and then three of the brackets. But yeah, I am so stoked, excited to decorate it. And then obviously add that to the bottom and the vinyls and the vinyl player. Oh, it's gonna look so good. So I hope you look forward to it as much as I do. <laughs> All right, so now it's the fun part. We're going to start organizing and decorating this area. So you see that I have the Ikea piece of furniture in the front with the shelves 
and then uh, we're going to kind of figure out the actual wood shelves in a moment because I want to put the vinyl player first and then figure out where I'm going to put the first shelf and then work my way up. That's what we're going to do right now. 